Speed is one of the main challenges for, for any professional in this business and not letting speed take the best out of, of strategy. I think one of the main changes now is that even uh, other people in the C-suite, CEOs and other professionals, they are also seeing the effects of social media and there's a risk there as well uh, because if you're a CEO and somewhat perhaps detached from social media conversations and you suddenly uh, see it in the face of a crisis or an event, you can be shocked by the fact that there are conversations going on about your company. People in general, they can relatively easily accept mistakes. Uh, they can accept that people will sometimes do things wrong that companies have not seen, uh, but they cannot accept that you give false promises or that you are pretending to be something you're not. If you have a very clear purpose of why you're there, that you can communicate to your people, to your clients, that they can relate to, it's much, much easier uh, to build trust in an organization and to feel that they are doing something that's really valuable and that understandable. The modern way of, of addressing CSR or reputational or responsibility issues uh, is to be able to relate them back to the founding principle of why the company exists. There are social contracts between companies and the world that they are in and uh, they need something to relate to that. We need to have uh, the, just the right reputation for any industry. Uh, we have been talking about having reputational thresholds. There are thresholds for companies that they can never go under and their reputational opportunities that they can use. Uh, so have a more versatile approach, really dig into the reputational drivers and work with them uh, to be able to differentiate. Uh, and then I think the third thing, it has to be anchored internally, both with management and with people. You can never manage it as something that's just packaging. If you want to learn about reputation management, look at in-depth, long interviews with CEOs when they get a chance to uh, to really talk about their companies. Read them and reflect on what they're saying and then see what media is saying, what other people are saying and reflect on why there are differences.